Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Shredder from the second wave of TMNT Ultimates from Super 7. Love the packaging with these. Uh, as usual we have the front of the slip cover has the manhole cover with the kind of emblem of the character inside. So we have the helmet of the Shredder here with some generic spikes over here on the side. And if we spin around to the back you see that classic TMNT logo. Absolutely love that. And then if we go ahead and pull the slipcover off, here he is in all his glory. Now this is Shredder modeled after the original toy, which in my opinion was always a little peculiar looking. Uh, that toy had him in kind of a weird pose, like a weird squat pose with his one arm out farther than everything else. So at least this guy's going to be a lot more poseable than that. Uh, but I don't know. This one I bought to complete the wave, I have to be honest. And I do think I'm going to enjoy it, but I was never a huge fan of the design of the original Shredder toy from back in the day. I remember later on when they did Super Shredder for the TMNT2 movie line, and I kind of couldn't wait to get that one, and that was my Shredder going forward. It's just a, a weird design, and plus he looked so different in the cartoon, so that also kind of threw me off as a kid. I've definitely come to appreciate it more over the years, but when I was a kid, this was not one of my favorites, and I almost considered passing on this, but I kind of didn't want to have one hole in my collection for the TMNT Ultimate, so I ultimately decided to ultimately ultimately decided to go ahead and pick him up. And I do think he's gonna be fun. And I love how they included the head with the like misprinting, just like the original toy. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. And then you have the really fun, colorful packaging that kind of looks like you know the graffitied. Uh, subway station bricks or sewer bricks I guess that's what this is supposed to be and if you would like to read the bio there but yeah really love the packaging they always crush it with that gonna go ahead get shredder out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look so here's the shredder out of the packaging I think he looks pretty good now he does come with the cape kind of wrapped around his waist like this and then he's got this little nylon belt that actually has a small piece of Velcro. So you just wrap that around him and then you Velcro it together around his back and that would keep it in place. I don't like the look. I mean, it's not a gi, it's a cape. So I don't really know why I would want it wrapped around him. But you can certainly do that if you like that look. I think the original could do that and that's probably why they did it. Um... But he does have a belt here around his waist underneath the cloak. So I guess he's wearing two belts if you go this route. But there you go. So that's that. That's off to the side. This is a soft goods cape. It has a wire in the edges. You can kind of see where it is sewed around. And that's where the wire is around the edges. So you can kind of, you know, get like a flapping in the, in the breeze pose, which is kind of cool. So I like the soft goods cape. I think that's kind of neat. He does come with a plastic cape as well. We'll get to that in a little bit. But first I want to go through the articulation for the figure. Head sculpt looks good. Looks like the original. But if you want to really look like the original, you have the alternate <laughs> head sculpt here. Where apparently the eyebrows were painted on the helmet. Apparently that is something I don't remember that from the original toy, but it's been years. Uh, so they included that as like a fun little Easter egg. So if you want to be truly authentic... You can pop this head off and pop this one on and he has the eyebrows painted on the helmet because apparently that was something Playmates did by accident back in the day. So that attention to detail I think is really fun. It's not something that personally interests me, but I love the inclusion. Uh, that's just a fun little throwback to a pretty famous paint mistake. But the head is on a ball joint so you can have movement there. A little bit of up and down. Not really a lot of uh, rock back and forth. And the reason this is, if I go ahead and pop this off you can see that the ball joint in the neck is not moving around very much so it's really just this ball joint i think it's supposed to be like a barbell system but i could be wrong because at the base it's not moving around at all so you really just have this ball joint to move the head around so really you get just side to side a little bit of up and down but not a ton uh, in the shoulder you do have a hinge it gets a little bit impeded by the shoulder pads, but not too bad. You can only go about that far up and then this far down. No butterfly joint or anything like that, but of course you can swivel it around. You do have a bicep swivel there. You have a single elbow joint, and I think it's supposed to have movement side to side, but I'm not getting much. 
So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or what. I kind of don't want to break it, so I'm not going to chance it. Uh, you don't have anything. It, it seems like there might be a swivel here at kind of the wrist or the, I guess, um, gauntlet bandages, whatever you want to call that, forearm bandages, but there's not. Uh, you do have a swivel and a hinge there in the wrist. And of course, he does come with different sets of hands we'll get to in a minute. And he's got the really nice blades. Now, these are definitely a softer plastic. I'm assuming that's a safety standards thing, but they do look pretty good. You have a swivel at the waist, nothing in the abs. There's no ab crunch or anything like that. The legs are really loose in the hips. And I notice this is becoming a trend now because my Leo was kind of the same way. I mean, again, they hold the pose, but they just feel really loose. I don't know. I can't decide if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like NECAs are too tight. Super 7s are too loose. I need, you know, something that's just right. It's like a Goldilocks situation. But anyway, so you have a hinge here, which you can see is pretty loose. And then a swivel. And then you have the thigh swivel. I don't think it's going to break or anything. I think it's just loose. But it feels fairly floppy, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you do have a single joint at the knee. And then that absolutely spins. And then you have another spin at the boot. And you can see that his like shin pad is attached to the boot. So you can get that moving around. And again, these are softer, but they look good. And then you have the hinge and rocker in the ankle. So, pretty good articulation. Just really loose hips, which I'm really bummed about. But again, he'll he'll stand. It's not that's not a problem. Once you just distribute the weight evenly, because the the cape is a little back heavy, but he'll stand. I mean, it's not a problem. It just they feels floppy when you handle them, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so let's take a look at some of his accessories here. So like I talked about those two sets of hands, you have this kind of open-handed set. And I know that this is because of the original toy, because this was the pose he was in. He kind of had this hand like this, and then this hand was straight out like this with this hand, you know, like that. And then he was very squat, almost like he's doing a Spider-Man crouch. And it was a really weird pose for the figure. But I do appreciate that they've given you the hands if you want to recreate that. You can even use the other head to get his eyebrows painted on his helmet so you can really recreate the look of the original figure there. But you do have a kind of open hand set. And then you also have a closed fist set. So if you want to engage in some fisticuffs, he's got a closed fist set of hands there. Uh, we already talked about the helmet. For the rest of this, it really just kind of feels like he raided uh, Leonardo's weapon rack, I gotta be honest. He's got a single katana, which I believe is exactly the same as the one that come with Leo, just painted a little different. He's got one of these things, which Leo had. He's got one of these things that Leo had. He's got one of these things that Leo had. He's got two uh, shuriken, just like Leo had. And then we just have his, his weapon rack like they all come with for the original uh, light brown versions of the weapons, just like the original toys. So absolutely love that they include these. This is another super fun little Easter egg, very reminiscent of the original. But I really do feel like every single one of these accessories is this is just Leo's exact weapon rack minus one katana. Otherwise, it's exactly the same, it feels like. Now, one other thing he does have is a plastic version of his cape. So if I pop his head off and we take the soft goods cape off, stand here for one moment, please. We have this soft rubber version. Obviously, this is giving me like Magneto vibes. That's what this feels like when I look at it. Uh, the plastic is like a little frayed here, which is a shame. And you can see this obvious seam, which is only on the inside for whatever reason. But this very easily just drops on here like this. And then you just pop the head back on. And I gotta tell you, it's not bad. Usually I go for a soft goods cape. It's kind of funny. With, with Mumra from the line, uh, line of, from the Thundercat Super 7 line, I thought I would love the plastic cape. And instead I ended up loving the soft goods cape. With Shredder, I'm feeling quite the opposite. I really thought I would love the soft goods cape. And I'm really loving the plastic cape. Now, it does make him a little bit more back heavy because it is just kind of that weight just hanging on the back there. But just the way it forms to the figure 
and just lays so perfectly, I kind of like it. I really do. I mean, the soft goods cape is fun too, especially if you want to do some kind of like action pose with it flapping in the breeze or something like that. But if you just want Shredder just standing there, I really like the plastic cape. I think it works really well and it looks really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him a katana here. See how easily we can get this in and out of the hand. Shouldn't be too difficult, but you never know. Come along, come along, get in there. There we go. There we go. So yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Like I said, it's just those hips. But as long as you can find a pose you're happy with, he'll he'll stay. He'll stay in that pose. Maybe something like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then just for fun, I wanted to bring in uh, Leonardo for a size comparison. Just so you could get a look at how much taller Shredder is than the Turtles. He's probably about a head taller, I would say. But yeah, I'm pretty sure those Katana are exactly the same. Eh, is Shredder's a little bit longer? No, they're exactly the same. <laughs> so it's just a little bit different as far as coloring goes. But yeah, you can see Shredder's a little bit taller than Leo. But they both look good. I'm happy with them. So very, very cool there. But yeah, he's good. I, like I said, I didn't expect to like him as much as I do. And I'm definitely glad I decided to pick him up. Because I would be sad, you know, looking back years from now if he's the one ultimate I didn't pick up. And that would just be silly to have one obvious hole in the collection. And I do. I really like him more than I thought I was. I was never a huge fan of this design of Shredder. But the fact that he's not stuck in that weird squat pose makes me like him a lot more. But if you're someone who loved that original figure, you can absolutely recreate that crazy squat pose. They even give you the right hands and everything. And the soft goods cape can 100% be used to recreate the look of the original figure. Plus, they give you that crazy misprinted head. I mean, you can you have everything you need to absolutely recreate that original figure in that weird original pose. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. So at the end of the day, I actually like this guy a lot more than I thought I would. I really like... The plastic cape, that has really won me over. And that's absolutely, I think, what I'm going to be sticking with when I have him on the shelf. Um, I recommend picking him up. If you're like me and you didn't really care for the original figure, this is obviously a vast improvement. I mean, of course, they're all going to be vast improvements because of how far toy technology has come and just the fact that they have so much more articulation and paint and, and, and accessories and all that. But even if you weren't a huge fan of the design of the original, while they're 100% staying true to the design of the original... It's definitely a vast improvement. You don't have to have them in that weird pose and the head looks better. But again, they give you all the options if you want to create the original figure. But if you want just like a better souped up version of the original, you can have that as well. So I definitely think this guy's worth the pickup. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.